I loved accessibility since I was young. My mom worked in special education. And so growing up, we always talked about ways that people made education uh, work for them. We're all working towards one common goal. We're all just strategizing and coming at things from different angles so that everybody can have a great experience. And so for the museum, it means that everybody, we work together so that everybody can have a great meaningful experience interacting with art and connecting with each other and connecting with artwork. My name is Amber Piercy. I am a visitor at the Museum of Fine Arts. I am an access volunteer, so occasionally I will assist with tours. I am also an access consultant, so I will help Jessica and her team with website testing, mobile app testing, as well as giving feedback on tactiles and audio descriptions. So a painting about nature is both harder and easier because it's harder in the way that it is not something that you can touch or you can feel, but it is something that is very relatable. Like every night, the night sky happens. And that happens regardless of whether or not you can see it or not. And so it then at least anchors the person in a place and anchors the person in an experience. And so then we're able to use words and verbal description to describe kind of the experience and what we're looking at. When you're looking up at the night sky, there's also sounds that you hear depending on where you are. If you're looking at a night sky in the city, there's going to be a lot of kind of city noises, so cars, and dogs barking, and maybe a lot more people talking than if you were in the woods at night. Uh, then you might hear owls, or rustling of animals, or insects. And so there are many different ways we kind of come at it to create a overarching experience. This morning I got up and I drove from Boston up here to Meadow Whistler Lodge up in North Maine Woods. The difference in terms of my senses, as opposed to the work that we do at the museum, is that it's all here. My impression of the night sky here is that it is so expansive and dynamic compared to what we have in Boston. If I'm lucky, if I find a perfect spot on my street where the houses are blocking out the street lights, I can maybe see three stars. But here I can see thousands and I can see layers of stars and constellations and satellites. The number of things that you can see in the dark is incredible. It feels like what I'm looking at is almost dome-like. Like if I was to take myself out of this, I could hold it in my hand as a ball. And that I'm sitting in the middle of this ball looking up. And so the stars really feel like they are surrounding us and kind of holding us in. And so your eyes over time are able to adjust to see the expansiveness of thousands of stars. Some of them are bigger and brighter. Some of them are smaller and dimmer. And so there feels like there are layers to them. So there are some that feel like they are closer to us and some that are further away. Places like these are places where artists went to be inspired. So if you just take a moment to look around, it is so clear that all of this is so beautiful and how could you not create art from it?